we've been getting a lot of questions about tax sales in Alabama. Properties, property tax sales in Alabama is a complex thing. And what I wanted to do was answer some of the questions that I've been getting and give you the straight skinny on investing in tax properties in the state of Alabama. I want to make sure that everybody understands that Alabama property tax law is different than any other state. Counties run on property taxes, especially the schools run on property taxes. If you don't pay your taxes on property and an investor doesn't come in and pay them for you, then the county kind of is going to come to a screeching halt. If property taxes are not paid, the county sells a lien, and that lien is called a certificate. The certificate earns 12% a year. The cool thing about Alabama property taxes, which is different from other, some other states, is that you can buy Alabama property taxes from the state 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Certificate purchasers earn 12% interest, uh, and tax certificates mature into deeds at the three-year mark. At the three-year mark, they become a deed and they can no longer be administratively redeemed. They would have to be judicially redeemed, which means that if you put investment into that property, then the redemptioner is going to have to pay you for that, for that um, investment you put into the property based on how much you've increased the value of the property. With Alabama tax certificates, you're entitled to demand possession as soon as you get your certificate. So you could move in to that property uh, if it was vacant. A buyer can rent out property that he has bought for taxes. There's several other ways that you can make money off this. The key here is in Alabama, you have an immediate right to move into that property, to immediate right to demand possession. Or you can just let it sit there and accrue interest at 1% a month. You can sell that investment to other investors. We actually have a, a fairly liquid market for selling tax investments. Your tax investor network is going to be very important if you get into this into this business. You're going to, if you're an attorney, that's great. You've got the law side covered. If you're a realtor, that's great. You've got that side covered. If you're a money guy, that's great. You've got that side covered. If you haven't done this before, well, you need to find somebody who has some experience who has done it. There are several other people who are going to be in your network for buying and selling tax properties. But you can't do it by yourself. You can't just be an investor and know all the laws and know the money and know all the tax issues and all of that. So you're going to need to have a tax investors network of friends and, and other investors, uh, and attorneys and um, money guys. But what's important is that you figure out who the shills are. You figure out who what we call barracks lawyers are, the, the guys who spout off uh, law terms as though they in fact know what the law is and they'll say, oh, well, you can't touch that property for one year. You can't set foot on that property for a year after you get your certificate. Okay, that's Georgia law. That's not Alabama law. You can't do anything until the two-year point. Well, that's Florida law. That's not Alabama law. Alabama law, you need, to, you need to, to know the Alabama law, and you're going to get that from your, your investor circuit. If you're interested in getting more information on this, go to Elite Estate Realty on Facebook, or you can join the Alabama Tax Sale Investors Club on Facebook. It's, these are free. We, there's no charge for these things. It's just information for you. That's Elite Estate Realty and the Alabama Tax Sale Investors Club on Facebook. I'll see you there.